Hey guys, so I made a little bit of a mistake the other day and I didn't um, turn off the radio. So I'm going to redo my one dumbbell workout. So might be a little bit different than we did the other day, but uh, needless to say, it's going to be something that you can do with only one dumbbell. Okay, so let's start with a nice wide stance and just drive the hips to the back, hands to the front. And your hands are just functioning as a counterbalance. And I'm starting to get the feel for what's out there online. And, you know, I just wanna say this workout is not gonna go crazy. There's no burpees and there's no push-ups. Those are not my favorite exercises. Okay, so just there, we'll turn that gliding into a nice step. Good. And you'll see I do my hands out in front a lot because it allows me to drive my hips to the back. So before we start loading the body, we want to make sure we really warm up the tissue. Got two more on this side. Okay, good. That perfect lateral step, and you can see with my feet, because I've got bare feet on, you can see the position of my feet. Nice and straight. I was a basketball player, and I'm really familiar with a big V cut and how to get open. So this position is really good and strong to push up, to push off from. It's also a really good position. Two more reps here. It's when you're running to be super stable in the front so that as you run, Gravity and ground is always going to come at you and put that kind of uh, challenge to your knee. And we want to make sure that you're nice and strong there. Okay, so the next one, we're going to go a high plank and we're just going to go shoulder taps. We'll go one set of 20. Keep your hips as still as you can. Offset your knees just a little bit so that your left knee is about three inches in front of your right knee. Hands are parallel and directly under the shoulders. And all we're going to do is just scooch forward and backwards. And I'm pretty sure if you look closely, you can see here there's very gentle rotation coming through my lower pelvis right here. And what that's doing is just warming up and gently gliding through my SI joint, sacroiliac joint. Good. Now just offset the other knee, okay? So now right knee is about three inches in front of left, hands right under the shoulders, and I like to just spread the fingers. Here we go. So if you play tennis or golf, spreading the fingers, working forward like this over the wrists is a really, really good thing as far as mobility and flexibility through the lower part of the arm and strength through the hands. If I'm one or two reps off side by side, it's because I'm talking, so I apologize for that. Let's go two more here. Okay, good. Let's bring that up to the half kneeling position. And we've got the right knee down, right arm will be up. And right here, we're just gonna drive that knee forward, hand to the back. Open up that whole side on the right side. And we'll just go six. Switch sides. Nice big breath. Left arm up, and just knee drive. Good. 
Good. Let's go back to that first leg. And so really look at this one. So this would be everything's just nice and encapsulated, ready to go. I want you to take that lead foot and put it out to about 45 degrees. And the first, first time through here, you're just going to put your hands on your hips and just gently let that knee, let that left knee drive over the left foot. We'll stay at six. Funny, when I was in high school, it's number six was my number when I was playing basketball. It was after uh, Dr. J. Nice big breath. Get that little bit of stretch in the inner thigh. And six. Good. Let's take it back up to standing. Get wide again. Go ahead and just put hands on your hips. Right here, hands on hips. And we're just going to rotate into each hip. So your hips are back just a little bit. So let's keep moving without any weight yet. So we're gonna step to the right, perfect lateral step, and then we're just kind of doing the yin and the yang here. So the left hand is gonna be low, and the right hand is gonna be high. So reach low, reach high. And then same thing, other side. So we're going to step to the left. Right hand's going to be low. Left hand's going to be high. Sit your hips way to the back. Good. Okay, excellent. All right, let's get that dumbbell. So first position here, we're going to go into a goblet squat, okay? So we'll use a split stance, drop it straight down, we'll go 10 reps. Switch sides. 70% of that weight should be on your lead leg. And here we go. Same thing going the other way. So my balance, I give myself like a, a 7 or an 8 out of 10. 
which means you're going to see me not be perfect, and I don't expect you to be perfect either. So we're just going to stand on one foot, and before you start doing the next movement, just get comfortable. Feel the ground. Feel the three points of contact, your heel, right behind your big toe, and right behind your pinky toe. Just feel that, push into the ground with all three points. Get really stable. Okay, same position, other side. And I'm gonna call this priming. Prime the system to be able to be successful. All right, good. Okay, so shake that out. This is called a double arm, because I'm holding the dumbbell with two hands. Single leg. RDL. So, just give you a little side view on this one. You're going to stand on one foot, and we're just going into a nice hip hinge. Come right back up, put the foot down. We've got 10 of these. Two. space on the front side of your belly. Uh, right, not quite as good. Here we go. Two. I broke this ankle about three years ago. And it still functions well. But you can tell there's some proprioceptive kind of issues there that probably I could do a better job of paying attention to. Eight. Nine. And 10. Okay, so let's go right from there, not taking a long break. We're gonna go right back to where we started with the lateral step and reach to press. We got 10 more of these. Okay, so one last thing on this session is going to be a, using a kickstand. So see how my right foot is nice and easy into the ground? 70% of my weight is on the right foot. You're just going to tip at the hip, nice flat back, loading up the left hip, right arm row. Now this is a one dumbbell workout. We gotta do a little bit more reps here because your pulling needs to be stronger than your pushing. 13, 14, 15. Okay, same thing, other side. Right foot in front, kickstand at the back, tip at the hip, load those hips, 15 rows. Thirteen, 
14, 15. All right, so my suggestion is now go ahead and hit the stretching routine that I put up the other day. It's a 10 minute stretch. Lay on your back, pull your knees into your chest, that kind of stuff. Keep taking good care of yourself, maintain healthy habits, um, and really focusing on rest and sleep to pump up your immune system. I hope you're all well. Peace.